Hello, my name is Michael Ellis, and today we're going to talk about how to play tug with your dog. Um, a lot of people ask, uh, why do you want to play with your dog at all, uh, and especially in vigorous games like tug of war? And one of the reasons that we, one of the primary reasons we play with our dogs is to build a possible obedience reward for our dog. Ultimately, the system we use in training is built on having a high value reward for your dog in obedience. Uh, in our food video, you saw where we talked about creating engagement between the dog and the handler, the dog's desire to focus on and stay engaged with the handler. And tugging with your dog is one of the best ways to promote engagement. It is an interaction that is directly between the handler and the dog. And tugging not only is an effective obedience reward, but it's also a way to build engagement and create uh, a bond and a focus between the dog and the handler. Uh, we also looked, and we have talked before in our food video, about uh, the reward as an event, the reward as an interaction between dog and handler, not simply uh, an object. And we saw that in the food video, where if I give my dog a piece of food versus if I interact with my dog as I feed them. Tugging is a very distinct event. So when the dog is released from an obedience behavior and we play with the dog, the tugging is a... Uh, an ongoing reward, uh, and it builds intensity, drive, and engagement both. So in today's video, we're going to cover how you play tug with your dog. Uh, some of the things that we're going to cover in the video is choosing the appropriate toy for your dog, uh, what toy do we use at a, very, at a given time in the dog's development, which toys are effective obedience rewards, a big toy, small toy, hard toy, soft toy. Uh, we're going to cover the basic principles of playing tug with your dog, what's effective, what kind of presentations, how to move the toy, how to tug with your dog in an appropriate fashion. We're going to cover how to teach the out off the toy or teach the dog to let go of the toy. We're going to teach the dog to bring the toy back to us. We're going to cover the use of a second handler and back tying and frustration to build drive for tugging. We're going to cover back chaining the retrieve off tug behavior. And we're going to cover the things and the rules that we want to see in our tug play with our dog before we try to use the tug as an obedience reward. Uh, and we'll discuss a little bit of the similarities between playing tug with your dogs and the beginning of bite work, because there are a lot of crossovers between those two endeavors. We'll cover what we want to see with the dog before we begin to use the tug as an obedience reward for our dog. What behaviors do we want to see from the dog during the tugging before we want to use the tug in obedience.